The other week, I had several messages from viewers telling me that Noel Gallagher had talked about me on comedian Matt Morgan's podcast. So, having received these messages, I went over to Matt's Patreon, I paid my £5 for a month's subscription, and I listened to the latest pod. And they were right. Noel seemed to talk about me and my channel and two of my videos specifically. So, listen to this from my old video alongside what Noel said. When I was putting together my recent video on Oasis outros, I used this soundbite right at the beginning. It's taken from the rock band version of Rock and Roll Star by Oasis. This particular guitar track, the version that was released for the PlayStation, is completely unique. On the rock band isolated guitar track, we get a completely previously unheard guitar solo. So how did this happen? How did a previously unreleased studio outtake end up being released to the public via a PlayStation game. I have a theory, and it comes from this fantastic website, which is oasisrecordinginfo.co.uk. The interview is with Neil Dorfsman, the engineer who mixed What's the Story Morning Glory for Super Audio CD. So it seems, judging by this interview, that what would happen any time the tracks needed to be remixed for the Super Audio CD or the PlayStation game is the record company would just send over all the raw tracks with no mix notes. The tracks weren't even labelled, so the sound engineer would have to reconstruct everything from scratch. So for the Rock Band game, I think that's what happened. I think they sent over all the tracks, just raw, unlabeled, with no mix notes. and. I think the sound engineer accidentally made a mistake and selected the wrong guitar track. I think he or she selected a particular guitar take that never actually made it into the final mix. And as a bit of an Oasis deep dive fan myself, I'm kind of glad they did. Um, <laughs> Paul Rapley, my daughter received Just Dance 2022 on Nintendo for her birthday and was looking for Holy Mountain to dance to. Has Noel ever been asked for his tracks to be added to a video game? Uh, I think there's, there's quite a few on FIFA, yeah. Guitar Hero, I'm sure they've... Did they have... Guitar Hero, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a bit that. on Guitar Hero um, that people have put... We just, gave them, we just gave them master tapes and there's all this mad shit on... All the overdubs that never made it are all on fucking Guitar Hero and there's, there's mad... There's mad fanboys on the internet have pulled them all apart and gone, oh, look at this guitar solo that never made it. This is amazing. It's shit. It's shit. So it's nothing particularly mind-blowing, but it's really interesting, just from a historical perspective, to hear the outro solo that Noel wrote and recorded, but up until this game never released, for Rock and Roll Star. What's, I you know, always but, wonder uh, that with, uh, with um, Guitar Hero, because there's like... When there was Nirvana stuff on there, it's like, hang on a minute, how did they isolate the vocals? So people just send them all the masters. Yeah, like the stems they're called. Well, because it's but worth we, so much money to them. Like it's worth. I guess I suppose so. But we, in in uh, in its infancy, we didn't know what it meant, so we just said, yes, yeah, send the stems. So they sent ev some fucker sent everything. So there was like all the guide vocals, all the guide guitars. We sent them everything. Fuck yeah. And uh, That's a they've gold since mine. ended up on the on the internet and someone's like, Wow, oh, look, I didn't know this was buried in the mix and uh, right, yeah, yeah. you know, there's guys on the internet who are just like oh it's just nerds who will just pull up pull apart everything and be like, um Oh, he said this and this means that and that means this and who is Sally and all that fucking shit. Yeah. And now we've come to the second clue. Noel is directly referencing one of my videos by name. In this second video, called Who is Sally, I investigate an American newspaper interview in which the Don't Look Back in Anger girl identified herself in the press as the inspiration behind the song. In both of these cases, my videos are the only ones that I'm aware of that fit this bill, so I feel quite confident Noel was talking about my channel. 
So, the odds are, Noel Gallagher has officially called me a mad Oasis fanboy and an Oasis nerd. And you know what? Fair play. It literally says Oasis nerd on my Twitter bio. And you know what? That's pretty nice by Noel Gallagher's standards, because when he's talking about other people in interviews, he normally calls them something like <laughs> But that, in and of itself, is not the most interesting thing about that clip. Not by a long way. The little bit that came right after, however, was. Now, I'm assuming it's okay to talk about this, because Noel let Matt put the podcast live despite how the interview goes. So, here we go. Have a listen. Well, we um, know it's because so, you told me. Anyway, so... <laughs> Stop it now, Matthew. Why? Um, right, last one. Why can't, we, I've got to why, why can't I say who Sally is? The real Sally. Because it's been so long now, there's no point, there's no point in saying it now. It would ruin the girl's life. So th- she doesn't need it. I don't need it. You don't need it. Do you mean the it would ruin the male novelist's life? <laughs> If I said too How much. do you not? I think we, we can discuss this later on. <laughs> we can discuss this later on. What do you, what do you know about that? Have I told you this? I must. You I know? must know something about it. You must know something about it. I don't. Want I will to, see. You, uh... I will see you. I will see you after my massage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to, uh, get a fat wire on me or anything, but. <clears throat> Just you be careful what you're saying about this kind of thing on air, Matthew. Carry on. Now, what do you think that means? When I did the Who is Sally and the Master Plan Conspiracy video all about the legend of the Don't Look Back in Anger Girl, loads and loads of people commented and contacted me saying, this should be made into a film. I wonder, based on this furtive little conversation between Matt and Noel, if something like that is actually in the works. Let me know what you think about this novel or film idea down in the comments. And as always, see you next time. But before we go, I've got a gig coming up. I'm playing live and acoustic at The Globe in Lowestoft, hometown of the darkness, on Friday the 5th of August. It's just £5 entry, so if you would like to come meet me grab a drink, listen to some live music and visit a brilliant venue, it would be great to see you there. I am also going to be running on that same day a one-hour seminar at the same place, The Globe, Lowestoft, on building a following on YouTube as a band or a musician, getting established in the music industry and getting in the charts, songwriting and anything else that attendees want to chat about. So if you would be interested in the chance to have a slightly more in-depth chat with me, that seminar might be right for you. I now get sent a lot of emails, and as many of you will have now noticed, I get sent far too many to be able to reply even to most of them. But if you've had a question you wanted to ask me, the seminar, the gig, or both could be the right place. The link for tickets is in the description, and there is also an email address there if you would like to register interest in the seminar. Hope to see you there.